Good evening, professor and classmates. My name is Jasmine Foster, and I will be presenting The Rise and Fall of Alcala Zamora. Throughout this presentation, I will briefly display who Alcala Zamora was, his religious beliefs, his role in politics, his departure from government, and lastly, how his life and work impacted the emergence of the Spanish Civil War. Acala Zamora was born in the beautiful country of Spain on July 6, 1877. Throughout his life, he grew up as a strict Catholic believer. He also grew up with strong Republican beliefs, which these beliefs at this time, which these belie beliefs at this time caused him to be jailed in 1930. But before becoming so, but before becoming so, he was a successful landowner. As previously stated, Akala Zamora was a supporter of the Catholic religion and church. These beliefs impacted many areas of his life. Politically, it made him disagree with many of the new laws being written in the new constitution. His presidency because it motivated him to use his power to push for more strict conservative laws and regulations, <clears throat> and also his international relationships. For when it was reported that he was a Jew and dismembered from the Catholic Church, he became a tyrant in denying all such allegations and any country of peoples affiliated as such. Politically, Zamora has been seen as a great contributor. He served as a lawyer. Later, he became the prime minister. He then became the leader of the Republican campaign, which caused the, which caused the dethroning of King Alfonso XIII. Lastly, he served as the first president to the Republican of Spain, playing the greatest role in establishing the governmental foundation of the now popular party. However, due to his extreme beliefs, actions, and mishandlings under his presidency, he was voted out of the Cortes on February 1936. From his departure from the government, he moved to France, then to Argentina, and then died in exile in 1949. So, Analyzing Zamora in a sociological and economical perspective, one can see in a sociological sense, he is the epitome of George Herbert Mead's theory of primary socialization, meaning that we as people are primary socialized by the groups we find primary in our lives. For example, that could be family, friends, and community members, thus explaining why his Christianity played such an enormous role in his decision making, because to him, it was what he understood as a socialized norm, not the reality of the new world the people wanted to create. Economically, he proves why adaptation to supply and demand are so important. This is because of inflation. Inflation is defined as the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising and consequently the purchasing power of currency is falling. This led to all this led to the many series of strikes in Spain under his presidency due to the workers demanding higher wages due to the higher prices in the country. In conclusion, Zamora's life played more of a role in the creation of the Spanish Civil War than one might care to admit. This can be analyzed under many different lenses, politically, sociologically, economically. We can see how this led not only to his demise, but also to the fall of Spain. I ask that you please look forward to my references and my image sources, image sources, sourcing. <laughs> and I thank you guys again for watching. I hope that you all have a wonderful night.